Hi lads, just a quick update. I've uh, I've not been on for a while. Um, a couple of reasons. One, this week I'm off and I've buggered me back up. But I'm just getting right now, and it's Thursday, so hopefully I'm well. I'm I'm definitely going out tomorrow. That's one of my first problems. And the second one is we've got dog number one there, and we've now got <laughs> a new puppy. He's a standard um, Springer Spaniel and he's absolutely bloody gorgeous. We've only had him um, a week tomorrow and he's bloody lovely, but he's only um, he'd been nine week old. He's just had um, his first or his booster jabs. He's got another one in about a week's time and then in 10 days he can go out. <laughs> he's absolutely adorable. And we've called him Stanley. And Gus has had bag on, haven't you, mate? He's been a bit mardy and a bit grumpy but it's just today is actually the first day they've sat together and it's not been too bad because little has been nipping him and going mad but <laughs> i can't wait to get these two buggers out mint and i've i've been treating myself to a few goodies today i'll catch you back in a minute dead exciting this <laughs> well for one i've got this uh that i'm going to take me um tranger out tomorrow defo just some Van Gogh bioethanol because I couldn't be also good to be in queue. Four and a half quid for a litre. It's not bad really. Dun dun dun. Quenchy, I got that from Decathlon. Um, for about six quid. I need my fire steel. we just about had it. I've had it for years and it's like gone all thin. So dun dun dun. And what I've always wanted. Dun dun dun. <laughs> not opened it yet. MSR Titan Kettle. How about that then? wicked dead excited i've always wanted one this feels apps i know these are stupid they're stupidly expensive oh, let's turn it around here oh, bloody right yeah they're stupidly expensive but i thought oh sod it i got it from uh, on discount 45 quid rip off i know but me um i thought oh sod it i'm on already this week like i say and next week for that matter and uh, this is ridiculous it feels like paper there's absolutely no weight to it at all i don't know if i can do this one Andy. that shrink wrap crap hold on a minute lads have to bear with me here can i put that down no probably not one second lads let me just right, back again well idiots i'm just holding this free hand so it's going to be pretty awful uh, anyway we've all seen these on net but uh, i'll tell you the first guy that i ever saw this was um sandy wiltshire man that got one in, a, in one of his transfer videos and I just thought that looks mint that's, I've always wanted one so that's it there she is got the old um, I think you put slide this one way or other or something and it um, it wedges in oh god it sounds like the flipping missus is back it, oh anyway I'll suss this in a minute you push that back and something like that anyway I'm sure I'll work it out there she is I mean, I'm going to try that out tomorrow. I might try it out tonight, actually. Anyway, ladies, and I almost forgot. 67p. Can't be without one of them on your key ring. Dun, dun, dun. And Mrs. has just got back, so we've got to try that. Oh, God, this isn't very good one-handed. Sorry, lads, about this. Good God, I haven't even had any yet. Oh. I'm going to try that in a minute. Cheers, lads. Hi, ah. lads. I couldn't resist it. So um, I'm down bottom at garden, as usual. I normally hang about around here, like a tramp. And it's a sad bit, but um, a good day as well. That's the old Primus one. I've had that for three or four years, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's ready to snap, so time to change I'll not get rid of it I'll keep it I'll put it somewhere and the new boy is on the street now nah, I'm not sure what to do with this I think I'll tie this up and then I'll tie that around it so uh, put a boy with that one just put that back tied up and uh, the plan is I'm going to um, <clears throat> have a quick um, a full brew up on this and just in case there's any crap in it nasty taste for tomorrow when I go out it'll be all then ready for uh, action I'm just going to tie this onto here I've got plenty of string plenty of scope 
I've got me, uh, I suppose you could call it me EDC. If I go out walking, that is, not generally when I'm back in the streets, it's what's jangling. Just take that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm videoing here. So, ah, that missus just brought me some spag bowl down. How about that? Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know. Mm mm. Room I tell you what I can do. I might eat it up in a bit in the pot. After I've washed it. Right, anyway. I ain't got any on my chops. Wash down with some. Peroni. Like I said, I've not been out this week. I've done a few bits. What happened was, I'm off for two weeks. We've had the puppy, so we didn't. We was going to go on holiday, but because we've got the puppy, we decided against it. Isn't that good when you do that? Leave the striker off. Mm, I'll sort that in a bit. Yeah, so we've got the puppy and decided not to go on holiday. And I thought, right, I'll get some walking in, but on Monday, I decided to do the garden. Rest of the week, my back's been flipping shafted. <laughs> I was doing loads of weeding, bent double, and uh, it's all right now, really. It's not bad, but I've been walking like a... I've cracked my britches. <laughs> Most of this week, so... But today, it's not been bad, actually. I've had this glad years, and I'm still crap at building it up. Yep, there we go. So, what I'm going to do, this was going to be a very, very unbelievably quick video, but I can't do anything quick. Ask the lads at work. <laughs> Ask me gaffer. Hmm, it's a bit of a strange squirty top there. Oh, it's like milk in it. So I'm filling up the old um, Trangia storage. I've got a 500 milli um, Trangia fuel bottle here. I generally leave it at home, but I just like to keep stuff safe. The rest of my stuff I'll print shed. Second bloody filling with this bugger. Anyway, you get the idea, lads. Bloody hell. You used to be able to get this for, um, I think it was five quid for two litres at B&Q. I went online and looked and I couldn't see any of the stuff and I couldn't be bothered to go just in case. And I wanted that to... Um, pot anyway so I went to go outdoors and this was 450 for um, one litre four pound fifty that is which ain't bad really to last me quite a while um, and I've been doing a lot of wood burning stuff I've actually got another video to upload from when it was really hot the other day and I still haven't bloody upload, uploaded that bugger yet anyway not hmm. anyway so I've got to put that striker back on put some go juice in this this can be a bit really tricky in order to get on your bloody hands sometimes it a bit of back pressure or something anyway whatever so my favorite tipple bioethanol So, I hope you can see this lads, the bloody camera's at a funny angle, you might not be able to see that. Hello, let me shift my crap around a bit. Put this on here. And that's not stable at all, that's not going to be stable. It'll have to go on there to funny angle. And, <coughs> this should be interesting. It's still a bit... Uh, Get there eventually. <laughs> That's how you chuck your fuel about. No, it's not on it. There we go. And I've only had that much, I'm not drunk. Yeah, well, Gus has come to see me, haven't you, mate? Hello, mate. That little puppy is bloody lovely and all, really nice. Well, that's one in all right. 
Yeah, I sussed this out, I wasn't doing it right. You just, you literally just bing and then it stops open. And the idea is obviously then it doesn't get too hot. I love how that catches as well. That's mint look. so light it's unreal right so we'll give it a uh, so this is a right, let's, well we'll see anyway I think this is 850 millilitres this titanium right so that's had it's had about 800 in it lads just look at this <laughs> he sits everywhere with me bless me bless him Right, anyway. Actually, I bent them pins in for me um, G GSI, Mim minimalist, I could never say that. And uh, that might be a bit too low now. One thing and all, bloody great sticker on here, you take it off and it leaves a right crappy mark on your tin. Oh well. So I'll bring you back when that's um, warmed up lads. Well I'm enjoying my sense already. I've, uh, I'm just watching this because I'm using this, obviously this is the first burn. I'll show you a bit closer lads. And what I love, I love it when you get that heat coming up the pot, uh, coming up the pots. I love that, I don't know, used look. And what's happening underneath here? Oh look at that, beautiful. And that bioethanol is burning like a flipping Pacifier. Yeah, while we're on the subject of these uh, burners and that, what I did ages ago, like I say, for the um, the GSI Minimalist, managed to say at that time, I bent the tabs over because I couldn't get the pot on, I didn't have a trivet. Now, I'm a bit scared about bending them back in case I bugger up the triangle. I'm sure I'll be told off by people that know that that's now too close. I don't know. Tell you what, somebody else said about these handles don't actually get... If you look where the flame is, these handles aren't getting warm, as yet anyway. Yeah, I know I thought I'd boy with that. I've put the striker on. My EDC I carry when I'm always out. Obviously I've got, I've got a striker. I was taking my blade tech with me, that's absolutely brilliant. You can sharpen an axe on it, on that, no word of a lie. My little um, Vitrinox, I can't even pronounce that bugger. I burnt, I burnt it look, what a twat. And uh, I've got um, I've got some um, Zippo fuel in there. You never know, it comes in handy. I always take my Zippo with me. And if you are buggered, it's one of them things where I just like to have loads of ways of making flames. <laughs> Being as I'd like making fires, as you know. Um, so yeah, another thing that I carry this, if I go out, this is the water bottle I use. It's absolutely bomb proof. It stickers out, oh Nalgene. I've got it off at Amazon and it's brilliant. Uh, now then, let's have a look. This might be a two-handed. It is. Oh. Anyway, we're steaming, lads. I don't know how long. I've not been timing it. Like I say, there's a there's a good um, pint. What is it? 850. Eight, there's about 800 mil in there, I think. So uh, it'll take a while on Tranger, as we know, but I'm not bothered. What I have been thinking about as well. Um, I've been looking at next. I've, I've been. Um, I really enjoy my wood burning. My wood burning, as we all know. This time of year, it's great because there's loads of dry stuff about. Um, but I've just been. It's so, what I've been taking with me, and I, I like the biolite and this, that, and the other. And set the axe with me and start chopping. It starts getting a bit bloody heavy. And this is going the other extreme, where obviously we know that these are light, hundred grams or so. That's the Tranja Triangle as light as anything, but I've actually seen something called a Caldera Cone. I think it's been out for years and it weighs nothing. And I, I just think, match it up. I know you can get them for the size of the MSR, um, Titan Kettle that is. Um, I just quite fancy getting one, but they're stupid expensive for what you get. I wondered if you could just get the cone or I think somebody's made a copy of it out of like some foil type stuff, but. Uh, I wouldn't mind one of them. They're like 30 odd quid for a piece of tin foil and a, a crappy flipping soda can um, alco burner. So, anyway, I wouldn't mind one. There's loads of things I want. But, uh, 
that's something I was on about years ago and I've always wanted one. Yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit, lads. Well, we're there, lads. We've got a boil on, but it looks of like that. Right, anyway, let me just put that back, so I'm gonna end up boning my fingers off here at this rate. I hope you, this comes out all right. Like I say, I'm just uh, winging it. Oh yes, there we go. I just love that, that is gorgeous. <laughs> I've got a bit of a pot fixation. Anyway lads. Bloody hell some weight in that bugger. Tip that away. Right. Oh look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful sight. It's not a virgin cup anymore now lads. That's a pot, whatever you want to call it. What I'm going to do now. I'm just going to chuck the old simmer on a bit. And this has gone... Let's have a look. I've heard a lot of people say that they just use their um, pot for um, boiling water basically. And I think to myself, if you've got a pot, use the damn thing. Hey, oh, what the hell? Well, I don't know what that is in the bottom of there, lads, but I ain't eating it. It's trying to bloody poison me. Well, look at that. That's a right good bowl. That's a big bowl. That's a meal. I don't know if you can see that, lads. This, that's a right good... There's a good size, that is. Crank this a bit more. Just open this a bit, lads. I've heard others saying all the time, um, you've got to be careful because um, the heat distribution is not that great. It could be all over and you end up burning it. But if I do, I burn it, bugger it. It's there to be used. It's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put it on to, unless I were desperate, I'm not going to put it on an open fire. I'm going to use it just for alco or if I ever do get a gas, which I probably will know me. But uh, anyway. I am. I find it impossible to do a short video. <laughs> Look at Dog. He's here because he can smell food. I reckon. What's the matter? Hey, he goes everywhere with me, don't you, mate? And little um, Stanley will. He's such a lovely, lovely dog. I can't wait till these pair can run run them out together. Look at Gus. He's eating bits off the floor. I've just dropped. Look. He's a sod. Anyway, lads. We've got a bit of a sizzle on round the sides. I better um, just put that down. Better stir her up a bit. No doubt Gus will have a little bit. That's what he's hanging about for. It's a bit awkward like this. But, uh... I mean, look at that, what a, that turn, that set there, you've got, I don't want to sound all bloody anal about weights, but I'm really conscious now, if my back's going to give me trouble, I've had, I've had, falling to bits, but anyway, I've had a bit of back trouble in the past, and like I'm sitting like this, I probably bloody go up. I'm not moaning, I'm just making a, an observation about myself, and I know sometimes when my pack's quite heavy, I get back, I get neck ache, back ache, all the bloody lot, so, if I can take a bit of weight down at minute while my back's not as good as it should be, it might help me out a bit. That's my excuse anyway. It's horrible really. My missus didn't believe me either. <laughs> Look at that lads already. They were already warm admittedly. But uh... I love my Tranger. Of course come out way a bit. Good boy. I love my Tranger, but I do like titanium and stuff. <laughs> I've only got a few bits, but holy hell, but I prefer stainless to to, um, to Ali, to be quite honest with you. Um, I saw somewhere that you can get a titanium Tranger, but I don't know, I bet it'll be hideously expensive if you could get one. But, uh, uh Gus, yeah, you can have a bit, it's gonna be hot. You get that one bit, where's that one again? 
so what, have a top lid. I'm gonna wash this anyway when I get home because I'm gonna set it up tomorrow. You can have that. It's hot. Yes, lads, I know you might pull your noses up, but it'll get warm. Be a bit of boiling water in a minute, I'll clean it up. Go on, get that down there then. Bloody hell. It's gonna be bonnie that is soon. Anyway lads, I'll clear off now and uh, I'll perhaps catch you another time. I shall be out tomorrow at Defo unless my back collapses or it's pissing it down. Catch you later.